welcome to this episode of 130. I'm so glad that you're here to join me. I am so excited um, for that. I am. <laughs> um, I know some of you guys are probably wondering, you know, why wasn't there a epi- uh, 130 episode last week? Well, it just wasn't an episode. You know, I have been extremely busy with other projects and sometimes, honestly, I just don't have the mental space to focus on anything else but those projects. So, um, I am running on a few deadlines right now, so that is why I have missed um, last week's 130 episode. And if you also watch It's Monday, you realize that I've been off for a few weeks as well with It's Monday. But I'm getting back on track. I'm looking forward to 2013 and what it's going to bring. I hope to be more um, settled, um, a little more organized about a few things so that I will be able to continue to do my 130 and my It's Mondays um, because I really do enjoy those. But I'm going to probably redo a lot of things so that I can fit all of that stuff into my already busy schedule. Okay? But 130 is here to stay because. I'm telling you, it has really, really helped me discover who I am when it, when it concerning my health and concerning my uh, mindset about myself. So 130, I just believe that it's helping you, but I'm telling you, it's helping me just as much. And it's just, it, it's like a mirror. It really is like a mirror. 130 has been a mirror to myself. Because, see, if I talk about it, if I put it out there, then I have to face it. I have to deal with it. So that is just therapy for me. And it's really been helpful. And I'm just really hopeful and really um, expectant that I am going to reach my goal. I'm going to reach it. And this time when I get there, I'm going to know how to appreciate it. I'm going to know how to celebrate it. I'm going to know how to maintain it. I'm going to gain a strength and a character that I've never had before in time past. Um, because me getting in shape is not just about me personally getting in shape. You know, I'm doing it for me, but it's become more than just I need to be in shape for myself. I need to be in shape for the purpose of the kingdom of God because my life belongs to God and he needs me to be in shape. But I need to be in shape so I can help others overcome things in their lives. And, you know, it's not all about losing weight, but it's about challenging your mindset. It's about challenging the habits and the things that keep us bound and keep us afraid, keep us from really experiencing life to the fullest, you know, the way God intended for us to experience. So, yeah. Um... But yeah, I, I wanted I wanted to um, let you guys know before I really get into things that um, the exercise portion of this video is going to be um, a previous workout that I recorded because all the workouts that I've done, you need to continue to do them. I hope that you guys are going back and watching the videos and um, just going over them, keep doing them, doing them because they really are effective, they really do work. I'm also considering taking my workouts and just putting the workouts together and making a compilation of just the workout portions of 130 so that you guys can go to those and just do the workouts without having to go through the whole, you know, session like this. So I'm, I'm also going to do that in the near future. So be on the lookout for that. Um, let's see. I wanted to discuss something that I shared on the 130 Facebook page and I hope everyone is following me on there because I've been posting some really helpful things to everyone, um, some really good health tips and suggestions and things like that and I periodically post, you know, moments that I have, epiphany moments and inspirations and things like that. But a few days ago, I posted um, a revelation that I had of myself or an epiphany that, you know, you call it, I will call it an epiphany, um, an aha moment, whatever you want to call it. (laughs) Um, 
I um was in my mirror a few weeks ago and you know I was in my mirror and I was looking at myself and I was you know doing the normal routine that a lot of people do you, you get in the mirror and you started flexing and you started looking at yourself and analyzing and you get on the scale and all this stuff and I just begin to look at myself but for the first time ever I looked at myself in the mirror and I said to myself oh my god you look good I look good to myself and for me that's a big deal and I'm gonna tell you why because number one I haven't changed physically that much you know I've been working out and things like that but I mean I haven't lost you know any substantial amount of weight yet I haven't um, reached any milestones yet in my weight loss goals or anything so not a whole lot has changed from that perspective but what has changed is my view of myself how I see myself you know I've been really diligent about speaking the word over myself and I confess these scriptures each and every day I been praying a whole lot more because I really want to conquer this I really want to um, overcome the bad view of myself because see in time past that is what held me back that is what kept me from um, truly accomplishing and maintaining my weight loss even in time past when I was smaller than I am right now I would look in the mirror and I would still see imperfection. I would still see flaws. I would still say, well, yeah, you know, I'll be happy once I lose five more pounds. And, you know, all those things like that. So, I looked in the mirror and I finally got it. I finally saw myself as attractive. I saw myself as beautiful. I truly accepted myself for who I am right now, this moment in time. Because the one thing that you have to get to is loving yourself where you are right now allowing yourself to forgive yourself for all of the mistakes you made in time past allowing yourself to forgive yourself for um making bad choices when concerning your health and your diet and allowing you to get to the weight that you are learn to forgive yourself not holding anybody else hostage to the for the reason why you're the way you are today learning to let that stuff go, put it under the blood, and move on with your life. That is something that I've finally, finally, truly been able to do, is forgive myself and love myself truly and for real. And I can say I really do have that confidence now that I believe is starting to show and other people are beginning to see it. You know, um... I don't want to be embarrassed of me. I don't. You know, I don't want to be embarrassed of me. You know, I used to wear clothes that, that hid everything and bigger clothes or trying to, trying to, you know, downplay certain parts of my body because I don't want anybody to see those because I thought they were bad, that they were ugly, there were imperfections, you know, things like that. But I really have become more comfortable in my skin and I'm really proud of myself for that. So. Yeah, and I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really good about myself. So this is how I know that I'm going to reach my goal. That I'm really going to, I'm really going to do it this time. Because I'm not getting in shape. I'm not losing weight just to fit in anymore. You know, it's, it's not that reason anymore. So I'm really, really excited about that. I'm really pleased about that. And so that was one of my uh, moments. So if you want to hear more details of that you can go to my Facebook page and I definitely will leave a link to that so you can watch that video because you know it was a really good moment for me and I want to share it with you and um, I hope that everybody will be able to get to that point it doesn't it doesn't matter what size you are you don't have to be you know it doesn't matter what size you can love yourself you need to love yourself no matter what size you are because that is going to be the motivation for you to reach your goals is you loving yourself and appreciating who you are right now 
thank God for the things you can do. I mean, I thank God. I mean, it could have been worse. You know, it could have been worse. I thank God. So, I am beautiful. Okay. <laughs> and learn how to laugh at yourself. You know, learn how to laugh at yourself. Um, not in a degrading way, because some people do tend to joke themselves and try to beat others to the punch, you know. But no, learn how to have fun with yourself. Laugh, you know. You make a mistake, okay, you know what, I, I, had, a, I had a day. You know, keep it moving, you know, keep it moving. As long as I'm breathing, as long as there's breath in my body, I have another chance to get it right. I have forever to get it right, so that's what I'm going to do. I, I've taken off the pressure to um, try to do it in a certain amount of time and you know things like that. I do set goals for myself, you know, because I, I do believe in setting go small goals for yourself to give yourself something to kind of reach for. But it's no longer a thing of, man, if I don't lose this weight by such and such time, then I'm done for, or it's a wrap, or, you know, I'm a failure, and things like that. You know, no, no longer that kind of stuff. Mm -mm. No, no. I'm going to reach my goal, because I said I was, and I keep my word to myself. That's just the bottom line, okay? So, I hope that's encouraging to you guys. Um, I really do appreciate you guys sticking with me through this journey of 130. I hope that it's been I've been encouraging to you because you guys, those of you that respond to me through email or comments or anything like that, it's really been very, very encouraging to me to know that I'm able to help somebody else. Um, I look forward to the future. I look forward to 2013, a few weeks away. Gosh, I can't really believe it, but it is. And I'm really, really excited. I really am and um, God is too good you know not to sound cliche but I, I really am too blessed to be stressed and I'm learning how not to be stressed stress does not do any good at all okay so guys I love you be blessed please 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 contact me if you want to contact me contact me at kctv at yahoo.com or you can leave a comment right here below this video or you can join me on my Facebook page where we can get more personal and that would be really cool too. Mm -hmm. Be on the lookout for some live shows coming real soon. I'm going to start getting more into doing live chatting so that we can interact in real time. And, you know, that would be really cool. I think it would be really cool. Okay. Alright guys, so I'll see you guys next time on 30. Enjoy the workout um, at, the end of this, at the end of this. And I'll be back next week with another episode. Love you guys. Bye. Okay, let's get started with our warm-up. We're going to jog in place for about one minute. Maybe a little longer because I really do enjoy jogging. So I think I went over about 20 seconds. If you can't do it the way I'm doing it, be sure to follow the modified version. And as you can see in the right hand corner of your screen. Now you don't have to turn to the side, but I'm going to turn to the side so that you can see my posture. It's very important that you maintain good posture when you're doing such exercises.
This warm up should look pretty familiar. This is a modified version of the skaters that I did in my very first video. I love this warm up because it's very effective in getting your heart rate up quick and easy. Now if you find this version still difficult to do, just follow the modified version in the right hand corner of your screen. And you're going to do this for approximately one minute. Your legs shoulder width apart and make sure that you turn your feet out just slightly and we're going to do a plie and this is not dance class but if you ever wonder why ballerinas and dancers have such toned legs this is why we are going to do a total of 20 plies get excited <laughs> Now I turn to the side so you can be sure to see my posture. As you can see, my back is really straight and it's almost like I'm about to sit down on a really low chair. You wanna make sure that your knees are not coming over your ankles and toes. That is to be sure that you protect your knees in the process. Oh yes, I love this exercise. This is a three for one exercise. You are getting the quadriceps right in the front, those side hips and thighs, also incorporating your gluteal muscles. Yes, the bun buns. <laughs> Toning it all up. Now it's gonna burn, but you're gonna love the results of this one. Enjoy. Now I did a total of 28 of these. Now the same deal with the last um, exercise. You want to be sure that we keep our knees from going over our ankles and toes to be sure to protect our knees. Very, very important. And this is a good one as well. It's called a curtsy lunge for a reason because it looks like you are doing a curtsy. This is going to target your outer thigh and your inner thigh all at the same time. Very, very effective. I did a total of 10 curtsy lunges on each side. Make our way down to the floor. 
take it easy don't hurt yourself now I really don't have a particular name for this exercise but I know that it's going to target your outer thigh that hip area and it's also going to work your hamstrings a lot of times our hamstrings are very very tight but this exercise is forcing us to stretch them because we're trying to keep our legs as straight as possible now the key here is just go as high as you can. Don't hurt yourself. If you can't go as high as I can, do what you can. I do a total of 10 of these. Now I figured since we're already on the floor, let's throw in some sit-ups, some nice old classic crunches now consider this a bonus if you can't do this <laughs> I understand it's okay but since you're here let's give it a try I'm trying to touch my knees with my elbows if you can't come all the way up like I can that's okay do what you can be sure to hold in your abdominal muscles as tight as you can keeping your chin off your chest as if you're trying to lift your chin towards the ceiling. I do a total of 20 sit-ups. All right, I know you are ready to stretch. So let's take our arms up, come all the way down, touch your toes if possible. If not, that's okay. Go as far as you can. And now we're going to squat and take our elbows and we're going to push them against our knees as if we are trying to push our legs out. We're going to hold it and then we're going to come up, hold, and we'll come down again. Do the same thing. Try to push your knees out with your elbows all while breathing through your nose and out through your mouth slowly. Come back up and we're gonna to stretch to the side, keeping one leg straight while lunging to the side and repeat on the opposite side. This should feel really good by now. Taking one leg behind us and one in front. Making sure that front leg is straight while doing a slight squat. Bend over if you can, trying to touch your ankles. You should really feel this stretch in your glutes, in your hamstrings. Feels really nice. And let's do the same thing on the opposite side. And also, be sure to keep that front toe flat on the ground. Good job. Thank you guys for joining me for that awesome leg workout. Now, I know you're probably like, oh my God, okay, so I'm feeling this. Good. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to feel it, okay? But do not give up. Stay encouraged because very soon, if you keep this up, you're going to have a firm, sculpted leg that you've always wanted. You're going to be short ready next summer. I promise you. So don't give up. Don't be discouraged. You are making progress, okay? A little bit every day is better than nothing at all. So keep it up. Don't get discouraged. The mere fact that you watch this video today to the end means that you are serious. That you, you know, you're curious about what you can look like. You're curious about how strong you can get. So keep that curiosity. In this case, it will help you. So keep it moving. Stay strong. Stay fit. Stay encouraged. Just be happy about every small progress that you see. You're changing. You're changing. You are changing. You are. Say to yourself, I am changing yes you are so i encourage you again today to keep it moving don't give up don't quit now what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to put on my sneakers and i'm going to go outside and i'm going to take me a brisk maybe 20 minute walk and that's going to be my exercise for today 
I encourage you to do the same thing. Incorporate some sort of cardiovascular workout today and try to do that every day for at least 20 or 30 minutes. But if not every day, at least three times a week, you want to incorporate some form of cardiovascular workout along with these exercises that we're doing right here on 130. And trust me, the results, it is going to happen. It's going to happen. Okay? So I look forward to hearing from you. If you would like to contact me, you can contact me at kctv at yahoo.com at yahoo.com <laughs> or you can join me on my Facebook page. We're on that Facebook page. We talk about everything that we don't talk about here on 130. You know, you get to chat in real time. I'm also planning on doing a live chat here real soon. So you want to be part of that page. So you be sure to be a part of that awesome conversation. We are still talking about food addiction and everything that comes along with that. So you want to be a part of that conversation. Let me know. Contact me. And I will send you the link to that page. You know what? I look forward to the future. I look forward to seeing everyone's progress. And I'm just so excited about what God is going to do in all of our lives. So stay blessed, stay encouraged, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.